hello friends uh, since uh, I, I have already taken three classes for MATLAB the MATLAB in using MATLAB for data analysis and uh, many of my friends uh, came to me saying that they, they couldn't find time to come and attend the class so I'm giving my uh, all the programs so that they can refer to them at any time and also i'm giving i'm recording this lecture uh, to make them aware with the programs which i haven't which i have already given or if they haven't got the programs they can write to me at basic data analysis at gmail.com that is given in the group you can contact the group and we can discuss about the problems you are facing even after watching this video okay so uh, these are the files which we are going to deal but right now i haven't gone through this uh, this folder which is which contains the files uh, lots of files and each file contains even more files each folder contains even more files and each files are in zip format so we will uh, come across those things miss how can we deal with that how can we unzip it and then work on it so that's not the motive right now right now we are going to understand this folder which I've already given to uh, everyone who have attended the class at least the third class so uh, first I will go through what we did on the day one then I will go through day two and then day three and then uh, we will uh, see what else we can uh, go through uh, so on day one I, I just showed that uh, how can you import data into MATLAB including the uh, using the uh, GUI interface or uh, how can you read the text data by writing programs uh, and also write the data into some text file then in day two i uh, i we learned how can we write complex text data uh, read and write down complex text text data and how can we save those data uh, into uh, mat format because that's very easy to access and then we we gone through the statistics of the data and then uh, this is just for same writing of the complex data set on day three uh, we gone through the uh, the rest of the statistical analysis using the histogram plotting the hypothesis testing the monte carlo simulation the probability distribution test the t-test all these stuffs so these are the two data sets which we will be using mostly and uh, uh, for rest of our programs we will be referring to the random data sets which we will generate in the program these are the two MATLAB functions which uh, I uh, which we learned how can we make functions because functions are really nice things we can use them to make our programs even faster because we don't need to calculate the same stuff again and again this is the mat data format which we will learn how to save the data into this mat format because this is very easy to refer to because we, we don't want to import data again and again if you if we have to uh, run the programs uh, one after another so it's better to save the data in this mat format next uh, this hw underscore t this is my old program which i gave to those who don't have uh, the uh, latest version of MATLAB because this program is even supported uh, by 2009 version of MATLAB so they can use this program for histogram plotting and other statistical analysis okay so let's see uh, how how can we import data this is the program this is the automatically generated uh, program for importing the data we will go we will see how can we use this data to uh, understand uh, importing of the uh, importing of the data in the MATLAB so let's run this program so this is the MATLAB uh, window 
and this 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 uh, icon is for running the programs like I've selected this program so you if I click this then I can run this program this is for saving if I make any changes to, to this program I can click here and save the save the program if I want to um, uh, open some new script data new script uh, to write uh, uh, something new so I can either click here the plus icon and uh, start some new script or I also here there is one plus icon and start one script file or function file or many such files which we will see later so uh, okay so this is just an automatically generated file which I have modified a little to import the data so what data we want to import uh, like we have seen that we have two data right the hw underscore data 2 dot xls and the global temp dot xls so let's see what those data look like if i uh, open this excel file then uh, it's taking a bit longer So this is the file and if you can see yeah, on the top of the file there are some header information we usually uh, if you, we have uh, the data file we we used to have some header, header information in the top of top few lines of the file and then we have uh, the uh, the headers for the data like uh, the date, time, temperature. This this is the water variables uh, data file. So we have the temperature, pH, uh, dissolved oxygen, and other stuffs for the data uh, for the recording. And we have the recordings for quite a long data, like right? data set. So uh, we will learn how to import this data. So if you want, just want to import the data using the GUI. You can just go to home and then click this import data folder and when you will click that import data folder then you will uh, see one window uh, generator and using that window you can browse to the data file so our data file is here this hw underscore data 2 dot xls so I will open that data file uh, using that browser so it, it has been open okay so data actually MATLAB can aut automatically detect the data and it, it detected the data in column vector format by default so you can change the even the range of the data the uh, variable row number and data type also the imported data type you can change it to various format uh, let's for the time being we import it as a column vector format and also we rep replace those data this unimportable uh, cells with uh, not a number value right because uh, if the cells which are unimportable miss if the data has something like this one this one is unimportable uh, so it will replace by nan is not a number value and if uh, you have the value then that's very good you don't need to uh, change uh, it to replace it with the nan you can also change this thing you can blanks with uh, nan or you can make various changes like you can even uh, this yellow color things like let's just remove it uh, okay for the time being let's keep it because we don't want to import these things so just replace those with nan okay and click here then the the correct mark uh, icon and it will it you see that it has already imported all the data right in different formats uh, it has imported the data the state time we have the time variable we have the temperature variable we have the pH, pH variable we have the do uh, for this do percent and do do one for do 
and this then we have this turb sc uh, and ipad and we have various other variable names which has been imported with nan values right so we can even remove this and then but we need to add new rule right so we can replace those values with uh, say zero also and then we can import the data and then it will be imported with zero values instead of nan okay for the time being we we don't want to import this data okay and also uh, if you see that here we can generate automatically generate the script for importing the data so we clicked here and it generated this script and we can modify these scripts we, we don't want these values right this variable 3 variable uh, variable name 5 7 because this data contain nothing so we we just uh, delete these these variable names uh, and we import only like we import first uh, column third column fifth column see it's uh, quite easy to manipulate the import and other things if we go through the text file if we go through not GUI but the command line okay so in this way we if now if we run this program okay it's first uh, run, for running the program you need to save the program so for saving just uh, go to editor and save click save here and for saving let's say uh, test import and save it on desktop okay let's save it so we saved it on the desktop and if we run this program we just add to the path and then it can import okay we still see that these values are there so we don't want these values but still coming so so first uh, these values are there because it has already been imported before so we need to add few lines like clear all close all clc it's the clear all statement has been changed to just clear so this clear thing will uh, clear all the variables in the memory of uh, the MATLAB and then close all will open uh, will close all the uh, figures or windows uh, which has been previously opened by the MATLAB and then CLC will clear the um, command line command window if there is uh, some uh, some old stuffs there then it will clear it and make the uh, make it like a new plate where we can write it again so okay so let's run it now and now we see that the old stuffs are gone and we are, we have got only the stuffs which are uh, which is really meaningful right so okay so if we just want to plot do1 versus ph so we just select these two okay the selection also matters the one i select first will be taken as x value and the one i selected second will be taken as y value and now i want to plot it so go to the plot tab and then this this will plot the x y plot right this 2d line graph using linear axis so i just click it here and it can do the plotting okay so this this is just uh, uh, the x y plot for this thing it looks very weird but it doesn't matter we just want to see uh, how can we plot the data okay uh, for the timing let's just plot do uh, it will plot according to the data values this is the data values data number values and this is the uh, the value of the data like for the data number one the value is around 90 50 it's something here it's like this we can manipulate the data here also uh, using this window we can put uh, uh, we can read the data using the data cursor and put it anywhere like and it it will give the x and y values of the data at that point okay we can even put this uh, uh, 
uh, color bar which which is really not required here so let's remove it and uh, we can insert many things like uh, let's insert uh, okay let's insert the lesion so when lesion inserted this this color line means data one so even we can rename the lesion okay uh, it's not uh, working if uh, if you want to rename just go to this tab and this will open the uh, the manipulation of the data and you can manipulate almost anything of the figure you can do any changes to the figure if you want to uh, add the name to the axis you can go to this tab uh, this icon and click it here and then write the name the x tab let's say data number data number you can see here that it's been printed as i write it here okay so let's give the y level name to be the data data do okay uh, just just write do okay and uh, that's done and uh, okay these are the data source you you see that display name is data one you can change the display name also display name to like do and then refresh the data then it gets changed to do okay and that's uh, and if you you can also change the line uh, type this is you can change it to bar plot and like you can change it to area plot you can change it to stem plot uh, whatever it suits to your data so you can just see according to the data type okay you can also change the line type like dash line or you can change it to uh, dotted line so it's this one looks better right but i don't I want the color to be red so let's put it to be red so now we have manipulated this much of the data okay so everything done so now i want to save the data so let's go back the hide the plot tools and let's go back to the uh, this plot so see we have manipulated our data that much now we want to save it so you we just click it here and save the figure and let's give any name to the figure it's just test figure let's see test figure one and save it into your desired folder let's save it on the desktop save and you can even save uh, the files to your uh, desired format like uh, this this uh, by default gets saved in matlab figure format you can uh, save it in any format you want uh, let's save it in png format and test figure one the same name and just save it at the same folder so we got the matlab figure format and as well as the png format so in this way we can uh, interactively make uh, visualize the data and import the data okay so uh, this video is getting longer so let's uh, let's see uh, how can how we can uh, uh, this uh, manipulate this uh, program and report the data in a much better way in the next uh, video thanks